it still has that new leather smell. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel for another video if you're returning. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Tasha and today I will be doing a bag review. I will be reviewing my new baby, the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the size Nano. I really love doing review videos like this because for me I like watching them and I've watched a few videos before making a couple of luxury purchases. So I hope this video not only entertains but also is a sort of guide for anybody who's thinking about purchasing in a sac de jour in the size nano so without further ado let's get straight into today's video so just a little bit of a backstory this is my first ever Saint Laurent purchase Saint Laurent anything and I picked up this sac de jour from Selfridges and you guys the customer service was great and one thing I love about shopping in the store is that I get to play around with all the different bags before making a purchase they might have new bags in season might have new colors so I always love an in-shop, in-store experience. One thing that was surprising to me is that they don't provide a Saint Laurent gift box. What the sales associate kindly let me know is that when you buy any of the bigger bags in a department store such as a Selfridges, they don't provide you with a gift box. They only provide a gift box for the smaller leather goods or the smaller clutch bags because it's not a standalone Saint Laurent store. So they just don't provide the gift boxes. To me, I don't know, it didn't make a lot of sense. I just think it just adds a little bit of that extra touch of just luxury, you know? So yeah, that's something to bear in mind if you do end up wanting to purchase this in store. Nonetheless, it came in this dust bag, which I think is pretty nice. And it's got a bit of weight to it. And then inside this dust bag was another dust bag, but this dust bag was for the strap. That The strap is adjustable. You can wear this in so many different ways. You can wear this crossbody, you can adjust it so that it can be a shoulder bag or you can just wear it as a top handle bag, which is probably how I'm going to be wearing this bag. I think it just looks more classy, it looks more elegant when you're holding it as a top handle bag. And it also came with a set of keys for the padlock charm. When it comes to the padlock charm, I am a bit, I'm still on the fence because I'm a bit scared of the padlock hitting against the bag and causing dents. So more than likely, I'm going to be keeping it in its mini pouch right here, as opposed to, just like this. I've seen a couple of different people wearing the charm just as it is right here, but even with just holding the bag like this, I can sort of hear it banging against the bag, which I would not be happy if it dented the bag. And there would be a possibility of that happening. First, let's get into the color of this bag. The color is what drew me to it. This color was right next to the black version, but this right here was giving me all the vibes. It was calling my name. And this is a little bit of me. In real life, this is sort of giving khaki slash brown. And I was calling it toffee brown for a minute before I knew the actual name. The actual color of this bag is called cappuccino brown and I can definitely see it. I think this bag is going to be perfect for autumn and winter and it's also neutral enough for me to be able to wear it all around the year as well. So those are some of the things that drew me initially to this bag. So I picked the bag up in a size Nano and there are four different sizes of a sac de jours. You've got the Nano which is the smaller size of the sac de jour that Saint Laurent does and then you've got the baby which is a size up and then you've got a small and then you've got a large. I'm gonna pop up a picture up here so you can see a comparison of all the different sizes because for me, when I hear Nano, I'm really thinking like, you know, one of those micro bags, but this is a size Nano and to me, I would call this a small bag. However, the small bag is definitely giving more day-to-day -day wear type of bag, like very practical bag. This for me is perfect, it's practical, it can fit so many different things and I'll show you exactly what it can fit in here a little bit later on. The main differences between the four different sizes is that the Nano and the Baby don't have an inside compartment. The small and the large come with a compartment inside where you can store a couple more things. If you're looking for something with a couple more zips and a couple more storage compartments, then maybe investing in an insert will serve that purpose well because the bag is just one compartment. I felt like that would be a little bit of a deal breaker. However, I really love the structure of the bag. Whether you've just got it on standby, on display, 
or whether you're carrying it around the bag really keeps its structure even with a bunch of things inside without anything in the bag the bag is pretty lightweight i really do appreciate how the bag has feet at the bottom it's got five feet on here and it's going to make sure that when you put your bag down your bag doesn't get as dirty which i really do appreciate because i know some brands remove the feet from their bags to cut costs so the fact that saint laurent still has the feet on their bags it's a bonus in my books now in terms of what it can fit inside i've managed to fit in a mini wallet my phone pro max lip gloss a couple of mints i could probably fit in hand lotion and some car keys and to be honest that is all i would really need if i'm heading out just a quick couple of essentials and off i go this bag has a lot of potential in terms of what you can fit inside it because even though i put a couple of things inside it wasn't even halfway full so i feel like this bag definitely lends itself in the practical category the bag is 100 calf leather it has twin top handles an adjustable strap it's got the saint laurent branded padlock foiled branding at the front and it also has five protective feet at the base and one main compartment the height is 17 centimeters the width is 22 centimeters and the depth is nine centimeters so in terms of price points if you're starting with the size nano the prices can range from 1800 onwards and upwards depending on the leather the finish i've seen a couple of the more exotic leathers ranging from 2000 onwards and upwards in a size nano so for me if you're looking to make a first time luxury handbag purchase definitely looking at getting a sac de jour in a size nano would be a great starting point yeah so far i'm just loving this bag and honestly i just can't wait to wear this more often this autumn and winter the bag goes so well with what i'm wearing right now and even though i will probably be just carrying it as a top handle bag i do love how versatile it is i can carry it crossbody and i think it still looks pretty cute i don't know would a bag not having a zip or a way to close the bag be a deal breaker for you let me know down in the comments because i would love to know initially i thought that it would be a deal breaker however i'm not mad at it because i guess there would be selective occasions where i wear this bag and i'd probably just calculate beforehand so that i know whether to carry this bag or not so that is it for today's video i hope you guys found this useful i hope you guys liked the video if you did please give your girl a big thumbs up it really helps me out in the algorithm and i hope to see you guys in my next video love you guys bye